My Review of Lost Horizon by James Hilton. Lost Horizon was written in 1933 by James Hilton. The best way I can describe this book is the origin, the reference, or what popularized Shangri-La. You know, the magical city in Tibet where it's like perfectly peaceful and undisturbed and uncontaminated from the outside world, that kind of stuff. And the style of this book is romanticized orientalism. And the book is really good at the romanticized orientalism. It's, it's awesome, which is why the book is pretty famous. This book follows a British man called Conway, who is a veteran of the Great War, though I think he was mentally scarred a bit from the Great War, as, as expected, right? And he's also a well-traveled British man in China and India. And he, he even, I would say, had an affinity towards Eastern or, I guess, Oriental culture rather than compared to Western culture, which is why he, he keeps traveling in those areas. Now, long story short, he and some other people end up in Shangri-La, which in this book is a fictional monastery slash kingdom in the mountains and plains of Tibet, which is pretty much un unmolested from by the outside, I'll say. Now, what did I like about this book? There's actually a lot I liked about the book. I, you know, before I read this book, I looked at a couple reviews and it seemed like some people really didn't like the book. So I was like, ah, uh, you know, maybe, maybe the book's not going to be great. But when I read it, I, I loved it. It was awesome. I loved how the book painted me a picture of what it was trying to describe. And it felt like some kind of romanticized painting. And that felt magical. I loved how the how Eastern and Western philosophies were included in, in this book. And it, it was a nice, peaceful union. It wasn't it wasn't like all bashing Western culture or, you know, butt kissing Eastern culture. I think it had a pretty safe union in between. I loved how the book made me feel, which is kind of unusual, right? A book in the 1930s, it, it makes you feel X, Y, Z. But after reading this book, I had to put the book down and think about things for a while. And I could emphasize and feel what the main character Conway was feeling in a lot of the instances. I liked the internal conflict within the characters and its eventual resolution. The story was definitely original and memorable. It's a story I will remember until I'm like 90 years old, even if it's pretty simple. And, you know, the sucker that I am, I, I loved how the book went into some philosophical themes and ideas, which I, I always dig. And they also talked about Buddhism, which is cool because I just finished reading that Buddhism book, so I, I understood some of the concepts better. Some other things about this book. The begin very beginning of the book was kind of pointless and confusing because it introduces all these characters who are not necessary at all. And I, I could kind of just wish it would have just started with Conway. Or, or if they could have just made it a little bit more clear. It, it was confusing. It, I had to read it over once because I just didn't know what the heck was going on. The ending of the book was not what I expected. It wasn't bad at all. I just, you know, inside I just wish it was different. Though the book has, it, it, it does induce some strong feelings at the end in the reader, which is good, right? You don't have to agree with what the character does. But if it makes you feel a certain way, maybe that's a good way. Now, at the start of this review, I said romanticized Orientalism, which might be off-putting to some people if you don't like romanticized books, or if you don't even like Orientalism, which some people find to be racist, I guess. But as an Asian, I don't mind it at all. The, the Oriental or the Asian part of this book was treated with high respect and I believe the author actually was very well researched in this area of Asia and the culture and in Eastern philosophies. So the topics are given a great deal of respect. There are some racial slurs in this book which is totally fine because it's written in the 1930s and that's exactly how people would have spoken or British people would have spoken. I will say, as a criticism, the romance in this book felt really, really underlined, really underdeveloped, and a little bit weird. I, I don't know if it really added much to the plot. I, 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 I wish they could have just fleshed it out a little bit more. The key part of this book is Shangri-La, and Shangri-La was written excellently. It's powerful, it's memorable, there's nothing quite like it, and it's going to stick in my mind for a long, long time. 
they're the reason people have gone back to Shangri-La and and have written about it. And there's hotel chains called Shangri-La Resorts and this and that. It it is a really a powerful location, and the characters are just a part of that location. Overall, I love this book. I will definitely read through it again. At, at least just the parts that I found thought provoking. The other parts maybe not so much, but those parts were pretty cool. And that is my review of Lost Horizon by James Hilton. I hope you gave it a shot. I quite enjoyed this book. Let me know if you agree with my opinion or disagree or what you think about the book. Thanks.